ஸ்ரீ குருபியோ நமக எபிசோட் தேர்ட்டி ஃபைவ் அண்ட் தேர்ட்டி சிக்ஸ் டீல் வித் நார்ம்ஸ் அண்ட் எக்ஸப்ஷன்ஸ் தி சாஸ்திராஸ் கிளியர்லி லே டவுன் த்ரீ பிரின்சிபல்ஸ் வாட் இஸ் தி நார்ம் is prescribed by the shastras the do's and the don'ts two what are the exceptions these are also prescribed by the shastras in extraordinary circumstances what one should do these are also defined by the shastras three the exceptions which are extraordinary in nature and which normal human beings should not attempt to so these all the three put together form the norms and exemptions of shastras let's deal two situations which falls under the third category extraordinary circumstances which cannot be attempted by normal human beings the killing of renuka the mother of lord parashurama is one such instances instance which falls under the third category sage jamadagni his wife is renuka a woman known for her spiritual splendor both of them had five sons and the last son was lord parashurama avataram of mahavishnu one day when renuka came to the lake to fetch water and go back to the ashram she saw a couple a king and a queen and she developed sensual feelings for a minute and she fainted when she came back to the ashram sage jamadagni found it in no time because he saw the loss of the spiritual splendor in renuka's face he became very furious and he wanted to punish his wife he called his sons and said slay your mother the first four sons refused to do it jamadagni cursed all the four sons to become beasts finally he summoned lord parashuram and gave him a command kill your mother because it is father's command parashurama took the axe and simply slayed his mother killed her jamadagni was so pleased in the sense that his command has been fulfilled by his son and he immediately granted him boons he says you have followed the father's advice now ask what you want jab lord parashurama places his wish list to jamadagni first restore my mother's life two she should forget that she has been killed three me the stains and the sins she had in the mind be cleansed once and for all four restore the life of my four brothers five make me invincible and me i live for long jamadagni was pleased with his son's action and he granted all the five boons so renuka came back to life and also his four restore life of the four of his brothers got restored so the message acharya wants to convey through this episode is this what is the option lord parashurama had before him 
he had two options like his brothers he could have disobeyed his father's command saying that what he asked me to do is a harmful violent act a sin killing a mother i will not do it what would have been the consequences jamadagni would have cursed parasurama also and he would have also turned into a beast but parasurama being an avatar being god understood what is behind and what is capable of so obey the father's command slay the mother father is happy now he grants you boons restore the life of your mother so of the two parasurama thought slaying his mother will fetch him boons which will ensure the safe return of not only his mother but also the lives of his four brothers and she is going to be cleansed of her mental sin and she is going to forget that she was killed once so everything gets restored as though nothing had happened so when these are the two options available parasurama chose the second instead of the first and therefore acharya says this is an exceptional extraordinary circumstances which god can do human beings cannot try it out they don't have the power to get along beyond what an act can actually get vitiated in the course of what they do this is one extraordinary exceptions which falls under the third category shri guru bhyo namo